Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make an interesting uh, arrangement. And uh, the inspiration for this one is actually the hose of the Hoover. So we had a Hoover and the hose broke at the connection and I really didn't want to just throw it out. So this is the old hose from my Hoover and all I've done is basically slot the, the nozzle end into the old connection where it was torn and we've just knotted it together to create this interesting shape. So I think this is really kind of funky. It looks kind of... Uh, sci-fi maybe, um, but interesting and I don't like to throw things out. So I've got a container that matches it in material and also in colour and we're going to use a pin holder as our mechanic. So the first thing I'd like to do or we need to do is just add some water. So when you're using a pin holder you want to add water that's going to come to the top of the pins at the very least uh, or it can be deeper but you definitely don't want the water so shallow that flowers are not going to be able to um, make use of it. So we just need to see how best we want to place this. And what I really liked about this is we've got these loops, but we've also got the, the shape of the container. So this is picking up on that and um, we can make an interesting design. So. Flower-wise, I've got some nice callas. I've also got a few uh, anthuriums as well. I thought these would look really interesting with it. And the first thing we need to do then is just place our main flowers. So our main focal flower is really going to be the anthurium. I think this is quite funky. As you can see, we can just place them on the pins and it makes it quite interesting. Uh, so I think we'll go with really a grouping of the anthuriums. So this is a really good contrast. Now, I do have a little bit of trick and our callas, and before we go too far and I can't make access lower down, I'm going to add the dianthus. So I really want one to be down under here, just so that from that angle round there, you... Um, you're hiding, or it's hiding that connection. So let's get the glasses on properly and add our flower. So yeah, so you can see it's down there and it's acting as a, basically a way of hiding the pin holder. And we'll do the same again on this side as well. Now, flower-wise, we just need to look and see how we're best going to do this. And I'm just feeding the callas through. So for all we're making a design that's kind of sculptural, we still want flowers to work in the way that they sit. So as I say, we've created a little bit of a grouping here, but then we're wanting these flowers to come out in this direction. Um, and that's going to work. But I also want to take some of these quite deep into the actual base. So the whole idea with this um, Sculpture is that we're making people look. So really looking in there into that flower is quite interesting. And the same with this one. We're going to go down into that. So I think that's quite interesting. We're just 
just going to put a wee twist on there. And what might be interesting is just bringing a little bit of this further up. So I suppose really today's design is just to show that you can create something that is a little bit different with some interesting materials um, that make people stop and look. And if you don't know what something is uh, and you see it out of context, you really, you don't know why have you used that? What is it? What was it? You would never necessarily think that that was the tube of a vacuum cleaner. So this one's got a little bend in it, but we can just fit them in there. And there we go. We've got a very quick, simple arrangement. The pin holder is great for this because it doesn't take up any space. We're getting lots of impact from our anthuriums. And this is creating a really nice contrast. So simple elements, but just in combination to create something that's quite interesting. And uh, hopefully, if someone views this, they'll kind of question, uh, you know, what is it? Why is it? Do I like it? Well, you might not like it, but if it makes you think, then that's actually a good thing. So a simple design that would look, I think, great in a modern setting. And um, yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's different design. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, if you click here, you can subscribe. We've got new videos covering a whole range of different floral designs and ideas, and we'd love you to join us for our next video. So until then, take care, and we hope to see you soon.